Hello! Quick video to go over the latest Engine Crane release, version 0.4.1. In this update, I've added compatibility with the OG modding tool for Assetto Corsa, the Car Tuner app. This has been used in countless YouTube videos over the years, mainly to swap F1 engines into anything and everything, so it's nice to be able to combine the power of multiple mods together. Let's take a little look at the new feature. You can see in Content Manager here, in the past I've created a, a Bar 500 V6, and this appears as a child of the parent inside Content Manager, as it's a kind of a new tune or a new spec of the Bar 500. Another tool that you could do this with is a set of course a car tuner. So you can make a new tune, and it would appear in the same way. You'd get a child car appear under the parent car. Previously though, these two things were completely separate, so you can't see any of the cars that you've created through Engine Crane in a set of course a car tuner. In the latest version of Engine Crane, that is now possible. We've got this new tick box called AC Car Tuner Compatibility. If we tick this, it also automatically ticks unpack physics data because a set of course a car tuner does not work if you try to open a car which doesn't have its data folder extracted from the data.acd file that's a hard requirement of making it compatible with ac car tuner so you can't untick this once you're selecting it but assuming you don't have a problem with that small limitation you can go ahead and make a new car as you usually would an engine swap into it and now when we go into so to course a car tuner, we'll see that our new engine swapped car now shows up as a tune. So in addition to being able to engine swap it from automation, you can now do all the things that you used to be able to do in a regular tune inside of a set of course car tuner. The other small addition, something that's always bugged me a little bit, not a big deal, but in the past when you made an engine swap car, you get this little warning icon in Content Manager because it didn't have uh, an upgrade icon. I've fixed that now, so there's now it's got its own upgrade icon that appears next to your cars, so Content Manager doesn't complain anymore. The compatibility doesn't stop there though, so now Engine Crane is able to read tunes from a set of course car tuner and you can use them in the gear editing tab. You can now select it directly in the drop down list. So the one that we created before, test for example, will appear in the list without needing to show everything. And you can edit this in here if you want, add a new gear set for example. And then when you come to view it inside of Cartooner, those changes will be present. Let's demo what we can do with this new option. The Goodwood Festival of Speed was on a couple of weeks back and I'd been engine swapping cars and doing runs up the hill. I managed to do a pretty decent time in an engine swapped radical. I tell you something, I what? do that lap time in a van. Grandma Jima is doing everything to try and get across the line a fraction faster. Over the line he goes and it's 43.98, he's done it.
if you've made it to the end. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the recent updates, consider a thumbs up on the video and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. That's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you for the next update.